Methods of Community Engagement and Research course uh, is a core course in the first year of the master's in urban environmental planning. It's meant to be uh, really an introduction into thinking about partnerships differently and how, how do we engage in processes of discovery, right? We have a question we want to answer or a problem we want to solve. How do we really collaborate and share power, share knowledge, share resources in ways that allow for new types of learning? This course is really, has always been developed with the interaction and workshopping of methods as a huge part of it. You know, it's fun to be together. We, we use skills that you do actually learn to help people process traumatic collective events like body mapping and other things that it's hard subject matter, but we, you know, we, we get outside together and we body map with chalk and we talk about how we feel at the end of the semester is a, you know, and so we, we really, it's very interactive and very much about being together. And so I had no idea how I was going to make that translate into a locked in your house zoom pandemic thing. Um, and then I realized in my, in my thinking that I was short-sighted because the most important learning objective of the course is humility and co-production, right? Like the methods of co-production and the precondition of your own humility as a part of that. And I was like, I don't know what they need. I need to ask them. So in the end, they voted for something that I did not expect, which was we will have our in-time class time. It will be mostly absorbing a lecture from some national level expert on whatever method we were going to learn. Um, uh, we added a few um, people that are disaster recovery related in particular. The, uh, I'd had one, but we, we added another who does kind of engagement through disaster um, very specifically. I was incredibly proud of them because the students, what you saw in their final presentations were a real awareness and sensitivity to the amazing work that our partners were doing. Um, they, they really talked about how they, when they altered their projects, they did it not because of their own busyness and limitations, which were really honestly as much my concern. Like I wanted to make sure my students were not taxed by this um, wherever they might be. Um, but they were really concerned with our partners and making sure that their learning didn't get in the way, you know, their, just, their sort of motivation and desire to learn didn't get in the way of the partners' important work they were doing in, in this crisis. So I think for them, um, students are so eager to learn and they're so eager to be in the mix, you know, learn by doing. And I believe in learning by doing, but sometimes the learning by doing is actually doing things slowly and, and out of the way and, and listening, right? Um, and they were able to exercise those skills in, um, in this crisis in ways that I, 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 you know, exceeded my expectations and I think made the work incredibly meaningful to the partners. I think teaching in this moment will require some holding to what is the essential knowledge that we want our students to gain and how do I measure their progress in ways that might not have been um, conventional uh, in the past because I think the experiences of our um, students and the experiences of our partners are going to be fluid and thus our teaching is going to need to be fluid in order to meet them where they are uh, there might be a, you know, I can plan a class right now. I will be all summer planning a class that will have community partnerships. And those situations for those community partners could be fundamentally different by the time we get to August. And so I can do my best planning possible. And I still have to hold a lot of space for the idea that I'm going to, I'm going to have to do this differently. And, um, and that's going to have to be okay. When I'm not teaching about community engaged methods, I teach about climate justice. So I'm always thinking about what it means to be a community engaged teacher in a time of trauma because I'm teaching practitioners who may very well be going and, and helping people through trauma. Um, and so I think you must be patient. You must be outcomes oriented um, and flexible. <laughs> um, and you, you know, you, you must hold creative space for the belief that there's something better when people engage with one another 